Hey everyone, I'm here today with uh, Bernie Sukalski. I wanted to talk to him uh, today about ArcGIS Explorer and using uh, results. Uh, Bernie? Thanks, Tim. Uh, we're just going to take a couple of minutes and I just want to show you some really neat things that you can do with uh, results and something called Create Notes. So uh, we'll start here with ArcGIS Explorer at the uh, default uh, full extent of the globe. And uh, you can see over here on the left hand side I have some results that I've uh, already created. And I can double click on these and use these for navigation because they have a property that defines the extent at which we should uh, zoom in. You can see I have several here. I've got uh, some webcams, uh, some fire station locations, and also some locations on the map uh, from which we can obtain weather. So I can uh, turn these uh, on independently, of course, and uh, let me just turn off a few of these and open up this group result. I can click on any one of these to sort of zoom to its location. So many ways we can use these for navigation uh, as well. So as I click on this, we zoom to an individual location. Now with these, these are actually webcams, live webcams, throughout the uh, Phoenix area, and I discovered these on the web, and I've just placed the location on the map, and when we click on them, it will open up the uh, latest live webcam view from that location. So that's what we're seeing here right now. Um, but uh, they can be uh, even simpler than that. Uh, for example, let me turn off the webcams and let's turn on my fire stations. Uh, these just simply display some text information about some of the assets that that fire station has. So when I click on any of these, we'll see what types of capabilities exist at that station. So this is actually taken from a database and there are now things I can click on in my map. And uh, another example, let's turn on the uh, the airport uh, weather areas, airport weather um, uh, things here. If I uh, click on that, what will happen is that will open up a, a link to a website. And this happens to be the NOAA website, which gives me the actual weather conditions at this particular location. So there's lots of really neat things that we can do with results, and I'm going to show you how to, uh, how to do those. So let's uh, begin. So you can create your own notes then? Absolutely. You can create your own results, you can create your own notes, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a task here called find address. And uh, I've already typed in an address here. So this is 380 New York Street, Redlands, California, which of course is the home of ESRI. So I'm using what's called the task here, and when I click on that, uh, that task will be executed by a remote server, actually, and it'll zoom us into that location, and here's our ESRI location here. So when we run a task, we create a result, and uh, that's, that's what we see. Now, by default, we zoomed into this particular extent, but say, for example, I wanted to zoom in a little bit further. What I can do is right-click on the result and open up its property sheet, and I can control the location or the extent with which we can zoom to. So I click on this little camera icon and I can capture this as the extent. So now if we're zoomed uh, way out to our global level and I uh, click on that result, it will remember that location and it will zoom us in to that extent. So those are some of the things you can do. Another thing we might want to do is uh, change the symbol here. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the property sheet. Now, by the way, there's a couple of ways I can open up the property sheet. I can right click in the results uh, panel or I can just right click the result itself and choose properties. And let's open the property sheet that way. Uh, I can do things like uh, change the title. So let's call this one Home of ESRI, and uh, let's go ahead and change the symbol as well. So we're going to choose a different symbol here. Let's choose this globe, which seems to be appropriate for ESRI, and click OK. So now you see on our map that when I hover, we have the new text, which says Home of ESRI, and uh, we've also changed the, uh, the symbol as, as well. So those are just done by changing the property sheets. Let's take a look at creating notes. And uh, creating a note is another task, and it again creates a, another kind of a result. And uh, this time I'm going to create a new note title, and I'm going to s title this uh, Where I Work. And uh, we're going to uh, add some pop up text here. I'll show you what this is in just a second. And I'm going to uh, say uh, this is my uh, building on the ESRI campus. So I can 
uh, I'll choose point, and I'll just go ahead and identify the, uh, the building where I currently am on the ESRI campus. Now when I hover, I get that where I work text, and when I click on it, I get the simple text string that says this is my building on the ESRI campus. Now let's take this a little bit further. Let's add something more interesting to this. So let's dismiss this. Let's bring up the property sheet again. And uh, one of the things that we can do with the pop-up is we can use HTML to uh, reformat things. So we can put in a plain string or I can begin by creating a little HTML document. So I'll start off with the uh, HTML tag and uh, let's go ahead and adjust the font. So I'm going to use a font tag and I'm going to say size equals uh, 30 let's say. I'll go ahead and we'll keep the same string. Let's close that, uh, that font tag. And uh, let's also uh, close the uh, HTML as well, proper practice here. And let's go ahead and click OK. Now what will happen is when I click on that, it will just read the HTML. And you can see we've uh, increased the size of my text there. But we can do anything that we can do in HTML. So I can add uh, pictures. I can uh, add um, uh, even uh, movies or other things like that. And let's take it a little bit of a step further. Uh, in this case, I'm going to click on properties here, and let's add a picture this time. Um, we don't actually even need the HTML statements. I'll just go ahead and substitute the HTML here for a location of a picture on, on file. So here's uh, one of the folders that's on my local machine. This could also be a URL to a, to a web resource. We'll take a look at that as well. But I'm going to go ahead and copy this um, uh, beginning part of my path name here and paste it in there. And uh, the photo I want to pop up is sm.jpg. And uh, let's go ahead and complete that, sm.jpg. And sm in this case uh, stands for Scott Morehouse, who of course is the director of software development here. So now when I click on that pop-up, I see I get a window which uh, opens up the picture of Scott hard at work designing the next generation of GIS product. Uh, let's uh, take this idea even a little bit further. Now uh, let's go out to the ESRI uh, website. Let's just do it. I'll just type in the URL directly. So let's edit those properties again. And this time, instead of opening up a local file, I'm going to go ahead and open up the ESRI website. And just do that by typing in a URL. We'll click OK. And uh, now when I um, open the pop-up window, you see we bring up the ESRI website. And um, perhaps for the grand finale, let's go out to the YouTube site. And what I've done here is I've gone out to YouTube and I've typed in a search for ESRI. And uh, one of the videos that we see here was actually taken by someone in the audience at one of our user conferences back in 2005. Now if we look over here on the right hand side, you'll see that there is the string that I can use to embed this video. And I'm just going to go ahead and highlight that and I'm going to copy that. I'm going to minimize my window. And now in my property sheet, I'm going to replace the ESRI UL, URL with that um, statement, that uh, string that I just copied right. from uh, YouTube. We'll click OK. And now when I click on the push pin, it'll open up the YouTube video. All right, let's uh, resize the window. You can see it's anchored to the push pin. And when I click the play button, we'll go ahead and play that, that video. Now I'd like to show you something really. Very good, so you can use all kinds of different uh, files, either on local machine or resources that are on the web using HTML, uh, super. Now these, these notes are results that you're creating. Uh, how do you go about persisting those on your machine so you can see them again or maybe sharing them with somebody else? Okay, that's a, that's a really good question. Now um, uh, one thing I might want to do is I might want to organize them. So if I right click here in my results panel, I can add a folder. And uh, this folder itself can also also has a view property. So a lot of times I use these as bookmarks. So I can capture a location for this folder, 
by clicking the camera. And now whenever I click on that uh, folder, or whenever I open it from a website, it'll automatically zoom to that location. So right. uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the things I created. Here's my Where I Work notes result. And I'm going to just take these things and drag and uh, drop them into place in the folder. Let's even throw in the Phoenix uh, webcams and uh, drag them in the folder. And now, if I want to save this whole set, all I need to do is right click and choose Export Result. And that'll allow me to save this as a file, which I can email to someone or open up later on. Super. All right. Well, uh, thanks a lot for your time, Bernie. Uh, thanks for showing that to us, and uh, we appreciate it. Thanks.